Hey guys, uh, the other day I was uh, out on the uh, curb strip <clears throat> and I got, I found a lot of stuff along that curb strip over the years and most is, you know, like dollar bills, I found a 20, I got uh, several ones, all kinds of change, uh, got an iPod and <clears throat> But anyway, um, I took the Tessachi out there, and I just was surface hunting. I wasn't even digging, and found this. And uh, it says uh, uh, 14K, but then on the other side it says Italy. So I don't think it's, uh, I think it's just plated, but still a kind of nice find. All right, guys. Hey guys, um, this is Craig Talley from the uh, Hardcore Metal Detecting Radio podcast, and uh, <clears throat> I've been—I just got the uh, Tasachi, and uh, I've been—I uh, found a few good things with it, but uh, my yard has been hammered pretty hard, and it's full of nails, so it's been a little bit of a struggle. But uh, <clears throat> I kind of like the machine, and uh, I just saw where the uh, Noak to Macro just comes came out with the legend, and uh, I may get that one some someday down the road. I'm just going to wait and see what happens. I've already got the Equinox and the Amphibio uh, Multi and the Deus, so uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, this uh, Tesachi is a pretty cool machine. It's a uh, Bulgarian for searcher or seeker, and. Uh, but it's made in America. It's uh, all made in America down in California. So uh, they're claiming that this thing has uh, pulse-like depth with uh, discrimination. And uh, I've dug I've dug some really tiny little things with it. So um, I'm liking it so far. I just got to get more used to it and get the settings right. Hey guys, the uh, the other day I uh, I got a signal on this. Uh, mason jar lid down about uh i guess it was almost a foot and a half and it was in the middle of this uh barrel band there's not a barrel band but a uh, wheel band for a uh wagon this is uh it's made out of iron but uh some of these with the spokes and stuff go for three four or five hundred dollars pretty crazy wish i could have found the spokes Hey guys, I'm out here on a pretty chilly day. We got a lot of wind chill, <clears throat> but it's not wet. We've had a lot of rain. I just got a uh, about a three signal. And I just dug this. Uh, see if I get it in the sun here. It's a little tiny stud or something. It was about four inches deep. something else hey guys I uh, I'm out here with the Tarsachi and uh, I got it in um, mixed mode which is all metal and discriminant and then I got it at uh, 18 kilohertz so I got a signal this is an area where I hunted with every machine I had for about six months a couple years ago and uh, <clears throat> I'm really surprised to get a signal and it's not anything good, but I got this, I got this uh, little piece of uh, copper or brass, and I pulled, pulled that out of the same hole right next to it, that, a little clothespin thing, I think. 
Or maybe that's a buckle. No, that's a clothespin thing. Another little nail. <clears throat> but I didn't hear any of the nails. I'm getting all metal with, I'm using a mix mode, but uh, <clears throat> that little piece of brass came through real, real good. <laughs> Even though it's a piece of junk, it just makes you, shows you how this machine will unmask. Well, I was just checking on those pieces of junk and uh, one of them was actually a keyhole. <laughs> it's a nice little relic. Even though it's iron, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I just got a deep signal and uh, so a big hunk of lead. <clears throat> I don't know if that was a bullet or once or what. All right. Hey guys, uh, tell me what you think. Uh, about this machine, I, uh, I'm still getting used to it, but um, looks like a pretty good uh, alternative, you know, with this new technology. So uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Thanks.